Today, I'm going to be jumping straight into three tricks that you can use to make sure that intermittent fasting works for your weight loss and wellness goals in today's video. The first trick is to make sure that you're not snacking during your eating window. The key with intermittent fasting is to make sure that you're having meals within your eating window and you're not snacking. One of the main perks of why intermittent fasting is such a great tool to tap into fat burning is because it limits the amount of time your body is secreting the storing hormone insulin. During the fastest state, insulin is low and fat burning is turned on. But if you're snacking rather than having Having meals during your eating window, insulin levels are going to stay higher all throughout that eating window. Now, in order to make sure that you're actually having meals and not snacking, you may need to be adjusting your protein level at each meal. I recently did a full live stream on how you can calculate your specific protein needs. You can check out this video right here for the details. Okay, the second trick is to go for a walk while in your fasted state. Walking is inherently a lower intensity exercise, which means that your body's going to be using most of its fuel from fat regardless and not carbohydrates. Plus, high stress levels or high cortisol levels, which is our stress hormone, are directly tied to weight gain around the belly. And if you can go for a walk first thing in the morning, especially if you can go for a walk outside, this will help to expose your body to something called negative ions, which have been found to help reduce that serum cortisol level or that stress hormone level. So especially if you're having difficulties losing weight around your belly, going for a walk first thing outside if possible is a really great tool. Of course, this is weather permitting. So if you can't go outside, at least going for a walk in your fasted state is a really great tool to help your body continue to utilize fat as fuel. And because you're using more fat rather than using carbohydrates as fuel with this type of workout first thing in the morning, it will also help to keep sugar cravings lower because those higher intensity interval training or higher intensity exercises rely more on using carbohydrates, which can drive up your sugar cravings and work against your weight loss goals with intermittent fasting. The study that was specifically done on walking outside for reducing stress levels found that it needs to be about 15 minutes. So if you can go for at least a 15 minute walk first thing outside during your fasted state or longer, really it's hard to overdo walking unless you have an injury. And that's a great way to help continue your progress with intermittent fasting. Can the third trick is to not use stevia, monk fruit, or any of these other zero calorie sweeteners during your fasted state. Technically speaking, these zero calorie sweeteners should be fine. However, if you already are finding that you're having difficulties losing weight, or you really want to ramp up your results with intermittent fasting, some people still produce an insulin response to these zero calorie sweeteners. And so by removing those zero calorie sweeteners like stevia or monk fruit, you can help put your body in a better place to be able to utilize fat as fuel. Now, not everyone will experience this insulin response to these zero calorie sweeteners. But if you're finding that you're having difficulty losing weight and you're already addressed your meals during your eating window and you're incorporating walking, this is another great trick to use with intermittent fasting to help continue your progress. Now the types of foods that you're eating during your eating window can really make or break your results with intermittent fasting. So I highly recommend you check out the 10 foods you should not be eating during your eating window with this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love the science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.